Now let us write the Verilog code for this particular NAND gate using gate level modeling. So the syntax is module module name and port list. So module module name and port list. Next comes port declaration. Next comes your actual logic after this end module. For every module, there should be end module. So this is our syntax. So see here, NAND gate level modeling. So module, this is nothing but module name. NAND underscore gate is nothing but module name. And next comes the port list. Port list means see here, here Y is nothing but output and here A and B are nothing but inputs. So I'm following this format. So first I'll write output. After that, I'll write input. So module, module name here, port list. Next comes port declaration. Port declaration means among this Y, A and B, which one you are considering as output and which one you are considering as input should be taken into picture. So here output is nothing but Y and inputs are nothing but A and B. So that's what I've written here. Okay, here output is Y and inputs are A and B. Next comes your actual logic. This is your actual logic. As I'm going with the NAND gate, so directly I'm using NAND primitive. So this primitive gates will be present by default in your Verilog library. So NAND, some random name followed by output and input. Next comes end module. So gate level modeling is very easy. Now the same code that is implement using Xilinx. So double click on uh, Xilinx ISE design suit 14.7. So click on file, new project and give a name for this. So I'm writing as NAND underscore gate level modeling. So location, so location I've kept as in D drive Xilinx project and there I've created some separate folder. So the folder by the name NAND underscore gate level modeling will be created. So location and work directory, you can choose anything so, so choose a particular location in your PC. Next coming to top level source type, which is HDL, which is hardware description language. So Verilog is nothing but an HDL. So that's why I'm going with HDL. Click on next, next and finish. So first we have to write the source code. So for that, right click new source and uh, choose Verilog module here, give a name for this. So I'm giving name as NAND underscore gate level modeling. Next, next and finish. So here we have to write our source code. So module, module name, port list. Port list is nothing but output Y, A and B. So the next step is port declaration. So among this Y, A and B here, output is nothing but Y. Inputs are nothing but A and B. Next comes our actual logic. So here I'm following gate level modeling. So this is a way of giving uh, comments. So two forward slashes. So the, the, the name for this is uh, called as a single line comment. So our actual logic is for NAND. So NAND, some random name. I'm giving a random name as X1. So this X1 is called as instance name. So next it is output Y, inputs are A and B. Next comes end module. So once you create this project, this module and end module will be there by default. Click on save. So here, click on synthesize XHT. Double click on this. So you can see errors and warnings here. So no errors are there and no warnings are there. So going back to console window. So synthesis is completed successfully. Next, view RTL schematic, double click on it. So start with a schematic of the top level block, click on OK. So see, this is a name which I've given, NAND underscore gate level modeling, double click to view the internals. So these are the internals. Similarly, you can view the technology schematic as well. Click on OK. See, this is NAND gate level modeling technology schematic. Here IBUF stands for input buffer, OBUF stands for output buffer and LUT stands for lookup table. You can double click to view the internals. So you can see the schematic, equation, truth table, and KMAP of it. Next, in order to test whether this is working, you have to write the test bench. So in order to do that, right click, new source. Now you have to choose Verilog text feature. Name I'm giving is NAND underscore gate level modeling underscore test bench. TB stands for test bench. Click on next, next and finish. 
now see here module the name which i have given and here inputs are treated as registers outputs are treated as wires and this is called as unit under test it means this is the module for which i am testing by writing a test bench next comes initial begin and here we have to write our test vectors so test vectors are nothing but simply directly from the truth table you can write this so initially a is 0 b is 0 so here after 100 means after 100 nanoseconds of delay again i am following a truth table so a will be 0 so 0 0 after that 0 1 so simply you can copy paste this two more times So after 0, 0, 0, 1, next 1, 0 and 1, 1. Next in order to view the result in console window, write dollar monitor statement, dollar monitor, next dollar time. If you don't know what is meant by dollar monitor and dollar time, go back to the previous video and watch those videos. So dollar monitor, dollar time. So I want to monitor output as well as input so output y is equal to percentile b a is equal to percentile b b is equal to percentile b so y a and b save it in design window choose simulation select the particular test bench elaborate icm simulator double click on behavioral check syntax okay no errors are there next double click on simulate behavioral model So I got some waveform. Let us see whether this is correct or wrong. See here. Here Y is nothing but output and A and B are inputs. So I'm clicking it here. See if A is 0 and B is 0, I got output as 1. Okay. 0 into 0 is 0. Complement is 1. Correct. Next 0 into 1 is 0. Complement is 1. Okay. Next 1 into 1 is 1. Complement is 0. Done. 1 into 0 is 0. Complement is 1. So this is a perfect truth table of NAND gate. The same result you can view it here in the console window. So here uh, 0, 200, 300, 400 and 600 are nothing but simulation times and this particular values you can view it here in the console window. So this is nothing but the working of NAND gate and this is a way of writing very low code using gate level modeling.